Yeah. What's going on there, guys? It's your boy Chris, and uh, maybe I could get five likes for that squirrely name thing in the beginning of this. <laughs> um, I'm just sitting here. I'm uh, in my wife's bathrobe. I just got done. I took a shower. It's about 8 o'clock at night, and I want to get something off my chest that I've been thinking about all day. The gameplay that you're watching <clears throat> is going to knock your socks off. It's going to leave you speechless because it has got to be the worst single gameplay that I have had in two months. I don't have any good gameplay to show you. Um, I did. Uh, <laughs> I had probably about three hours worth of great gameplay um, from Sunday's double XP weekend. And... I went on last night, Thursday night, to start downloading uh, or uploading it so that I could start playing in the narrations and everything. And lo and behold, it was gone. Uh, Treyarch 1.4 patch, uh, patch theater mode. I don't know what happened, but I lost three hours of great gameplay. So, in a mad panic, I felt like I had to get online and start playing and start pumping out some good gameplay so that you know I could have something to do commentary over and I just couldn't do it <laughs> I just had the worst I was in uh, playing with my friend school and I was just having the worst night of my life you know I couldn't concentrate um, I didn't really necessarily want to be playing in the first place which I think is a bad thing if you just don't want to do something you shouldn't do it because if your heart's not into it well then it's just not going to work out and this is my lesson uh this is one lesson you don't always have to play <laughs> you can always stop it's like anything else if you're having a hard time with something my advice always is to just stop and walk away from it for a little while and that's what i should have did and but the gameplay helps because it's kind of what I want to get at. Rather than me try to uh, put together a bunch of clips and maybe make a montage real quick to talk over, I could have did that. Um, I could have kept trying to get better gameplay for you to put up. And, but you know what? I just want to be honest with you guys because you're my boys, you know? The couple of people that are subscribed to my channel. I feel like I owe it to you just to be honest with you. Um, this is exactly what I want to get at tonight. I am a 40 year old man, married with children. I have purple hair. I have about four or five teeth left in my mouth. I am old and I am beat up. I am not an MLG player. I am not I wouldn't even call myself a pro sniper. I, uh, <laughs> I'm an average game player at that. And that's it. And I do get bad gameplays. And I'm not going to hide them from you. Because you know what? If I'm in there playing with you guys, you're going to see it anyhow. Because it's bound to happen again. Game was, on my defense, a little bit laggy. I mean, there were a lot of shots where, I mean, I couldn't even get a shot off before people were shooting at me. But, whatever. Um, I was also stoned. I was, yeah, I was pretty stoned when I was playing this game. I didn't, because I didn't have any intentions of playing, you know. And then I kind of, you know, just ended up playing. So, yeah, I was pretty stoned and, uh, reaction time was, wasn't worth shit. Um. By the way, I do not condone using marijuana. Um, I do. And I'm not going to hide that from anyone. I never did hide that from anyone. Uh, my school teachers knew it. I have police officer friends that know it. I just, my parents have known it for years. It's just who I am, man. Um, at the same time, I don't condone it. It's more like one of those things, do as I say, not as I do. I don't know. But uh, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. There will never be anything. I mean, I do have my secrets. 
But at the same time, I could always turn around and stand up for myself and justify my actions and my reasons for having secrets. Um, if they ever came out, you know, it is what it is. Again, I am not ashamed of myself. Uh, nothing that I've ever done. I don't have any regrets for anything I've ever done in my life. Therefore, you know what? I could always stand up tall with my head up, you know, if anything ever happened. And I think, uh, I think that's what I want to get at. I think that's the point that I'm driving at. Because there's been a lot of drama and bullshit in YouTube lately. And, uh, and I think, you know, although this video is not in response to any particular, um, incident, um, it is, uh, inspired by everything that's been going on YouTube. And also because I want you to know who I am. I'm never gonna make, I probably will never make money doing this. I have fun putting these videos up and editing them and putting in the soundtrack and putting in the narration. It's a hobby now and it's fun and I really enjoy it. And I enjoy talking to you guys and that's why I do it. So I feel if you're going to give me your time and listen to me, I'm going to be 100% honest with you about everything. Yeah, I'm never going to do or say anything that I regret. That's it. Um, I got a series coming up. It's going to be on my personal vlogs. And it's going to be uh, YouTube for Dummies. And uh, I was thinking about that. You know, I think about YouTube when I'm at work. And half the time, well, then the other half the time, I'm thinking about work when I'm on YouTube. <laughs> but anyhow. Um, yeah, I'm not calling, you know, I'm the dummy. And I want you to learn from my mistakes. Thankfully, this is not a mistake that I have made. Um, and after watching YouTube for, I guess, I don't know, four or five years since they started, you know, since Call of Duty videos started going on YouTube, I've seen a lot of drama. I've seen a lot of bullshit. Um, I've seen a lot of people come really high up into making the commentaries and stuff and then fall off that pedestal really quick and I think I've already you know seen from other examples enough to learn not to do that so my words of advice if you're gonna start a YouTube channel be as open and honest with your audience as possible and you'll never have any problems and in life, don't do anything that you're going to regret. Because it will eventually come back to bite you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Love you all. Subscribe. Like. Comment. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, peace.